water. We use it daily. From washing clothes, bathing, and staying hydrated. But have you ever stopped to ask yourself where does it come from? Well, to answer that, we paid a visit to the East Water Treatment Plant in Coon Rapids to meet Utilities Supervisor Corey Jorgensen. We have 24 wells, and so we use well water. We don't use surface water out of the river. The wells are spread out across the city. Small buildings house some, while others, like this one at the West Treatment Plant, are fenced in. We have two treatment plants, and 15 of our 24 wells are treated for iron and manganese removal, and we have 10 wells that go to our west treatment plant, five wells to our east treatment plant. Nine of the city's wells are known as system wells and get used only in case of an emergency. We take our jobs very seriously. Water plant operator Mike Stahlberger oversees the daily operations of the city's water system. Every day I'm, I monitor each of the wells. We see how many gallons we've pumped, uh, the DNR and the Department of Health require us to monitor every well every day. The average wells in Coon Rapids go down roughly 500 feet. My role is to ensure that we remove the minerals, that the unwanted minerals, and then we chlorinate and make it safe to drink, bathe, whatever the usage need would be. Water gets pumped to the water treatment plants where iron and manganese are removed from the well water. So here we have our five filter vessels at the East Treatment Plant, and the raw water comes in, comes up to the top of the vessel, goes through all the media, and comes out through the meter and down, and then goes into, ends up finished water going to the reservoir here at the treatment plant. Jorgensen showed us an example of just how these giant filter tanks clean up the water. And this is an example of the electromedia that they have in them. So the water comes in the top of the filters, goes down through, and the media catches the iron and manganese and impurities. Fluoride and chlorine are added at the water treatment plants through automated pumps which are monitored by the water treatment plant operator. At the plant I monitor chlorine usage, uh, the quality of the water, constantly testing to make sure it's safe. At least once a week, the plant manager tests the fluoride in the water that leaves the plant to make sure it's at a safe level for consumers. I think we have the best water in the state. Booster pumps are used to send the treated water into the reservoirs where it is held until the system calls for more. One reservoir at the east plant is five and a half million gallons. The reservoir at the west treatment plant is five million gallons. From the reservoirs, water can be pumped to any one of the city's three water towers. And then we can see how the towers are filling and emptying. The tower near Foley and Northdale Boulevard is a half a million gallons. The tower by Crooked Lake Boulevard is one and a half million gallons and the tower off Hanson Boulevard is a whopping two and a half million gallons. Together, they supply water to homes and businesses through an underground network of water mains which run nearly 300 miles. The city has water conservation goals which are key to helping protect this natural resource. We've really done a good job in Coon Rapids with the new fixtures, toilets, faucets, and then the irrigation systems for their lawns have an automatic shutoff for if it rains and manage your grass. It's, it's huge, it's great for the environment. The DNR is really looking to continue to conserve and get our pumping down to under 70 gallons per day per person. It used to be a target rate of 100 and we're achieving that. The next time you reach for a glass of water, remember this, life without it would be impossible.